The Martian rover is just a few days from touchdown, so we're going to talk about the seven minutes of terror. The seven minutes of terror refers to the entry and landing process, getting the rover from space onto the Martian surface. The rover is currently traveling at a speed of about 30,000 miles an hour, and it needs to get down to about zero in order to land safely on the Martian surface. In order to do that, it's going to go through a series of slowdowns. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to use its heat shield to slam into the Martian atmosphere. As the capsule hits the atmosphere, it's like doing a belly flop into the pool. It's going to hit really hard and slow it down a lot. After the atmosphere slows it down enough, it'll deploy the parachute. The parachute will significantly slow the capsule down, but the Martian atmosphere is much thinner than it is here on Earth. So even with the parachute, the capsule is moving much too fast to drop the rover. The next step is by far the most ingenious and coolest. The capsule will drop what's known as the Sky Crane. The Sky Crane is its own craft fitted with several booster rockets with the rover nestled underneath. The Sky Crane will use those rockets to move the rover to its final landing position and drop its speed down to zero. Once the Sky Crane is hovering over the landing position, it will lower the rover using cables. As soon as the rover touches safely down, the Sky Crane will detach the cables and blast off, crash landing at a safe distance. The rover is now safely on the Martian surface. So why is it called the Seven Minutes of Terror? Mars is so far away from Earth that none of this process can be controlled here from Earth. In order to send a signal to Mars, it takes over seven minutes. So this whole process has to be automated by computers. By the time the teams at NASA receive the signal that the rover has begun the landing procedure, it's already several minutes delayed. So the rover has either successfully landed or crashed into the planet. There's nothing that anybody can do here on Earth except sit back and hope everything goes according to plan.